Here's my little mud duck radio shack. I have a Kyle Pockris dual band open stub J pole antenna. And I've got it mounted to a three foot tall metallic satellite dish tripod. And uh, I think I've optimized my antenna to absolute possibly the best that it can ever be for an indoor setup. I have it electrically separated from uh, the uh, metal mast pole and tripod stand. I've seen it recommended in several places on the internet that you do this, that you do actually electrically separate your uh, J-pole from uh, any other metallic surface. So I've got like four or five windings of electrical tape around the top of the pole here. And uh, got my choke bar and my coax. They recommend anywhere between four to six inches in diameter and anywhere from four or five or six turns. So I went for the middle, five to five and a half inch diameter choke valin and five uh, coils. They recommend that for the best performance on UHF. So that's it here. About 26 feet long of LMR 400 cable. So I think I'm guaranteed I'm not going to suffer any kind of signal loss, not even a single milliwatt of signal loss on 26 feet, feet long of a LMR 400 cable here. Got my antenna right in the middle of my room. I found that's a sweet spot to get into the intertie from here in Provo. Used to have it more close to the window, right about where those two cans are standing on the floor there. Right now I found a sweet spot, have it in the middle of the room instead of near the window. Here's my little mud duck 25 watt compact. It's a BTEC UV 25 X2. It's 25 watts high and 10 watts low. So this is it, my little mud duck setup radio right here in the hood on the mean streets of the south side of Provo. Sorry for the mess, but it's a small room. This is all my stuff. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. My little indoor antenna. One of the best uh, J-Poles that you can possibly get is the Open Stub J-Pole antenna made by Carl Pockris, WE7OMG. It's $20. That's it. It looks really cool.